Look at this beautiful tropical paradise I'm in. You would never guess that the world is coming to an end, right? It is uh, April 25th, 2020. We are nearing, uh, we're in the middle of the coronavirus update, but let me give you a little bit of relief. Look behind me at the insane, gorgeous view. <sighs> you know, the world kind of sucks right now, but we could always enjoy something that's beautiful, right? And that is what Hawaii is. Thank God. Let's talk about what Hawaii is like right now, near the end of April, during the coronavirus. Aloha, I'm Peter Kay, and I connect with people that want to live in Hawaii. So if that's you, this is your channel. You definitely want to click subscribe and get the notifications. Come out with a video about every other Tuesday. Glad you're here. Okay, so uh, at our last exciting episode, uh, well, first of all, you may notice I did not have a beard. I have a beard now, and this is my COVID, this is my COVID-19 beard. And I figure I'm gonna grow this bugger until this thing is over so we can kind of see how long it's been. Still growing. Last time we spoke was around the end of March. We had 48 cases at the time, and we were on what I call the Italian model which means it was like skyrocketing. I've got some links in the description to my website where I give a, a regular update on the coronavirus growth and you can look at all the graphs we put together there if you want more detailed information. Now today, near the end of April, we've grown to 604 cases. And uh, thank God we've got some of the lowest, right now we've got some of the lowest growth rates in the country. Uh, we're well under 1% growth. It's about 0.7% growth right now, which is fantastic. Uh, and uh, the number of cases, if you think about a city of, of Honolulu, which is about a million people, we've been very fortunate, very fortunate. Now I'm hoping that the reason, one of the reasons why Hawaii is low, I'm hoping uh, it's because of the warm weather. I spoke in the last video that uh, there's good evidence to indicate that high humidity and warm weather hot, good hot sun, ultraviolet, uh, kind of cuts down on the spread of the virus. I hope that's true. Uh, it's yet to be determined, but uh, I certainly hope that's the case because that means that, look at that great view out there. Beautiful day today, man, gorgeous. I waited for you today. I waited for you for a really good day. I really did. Past videos were kind of cloudy, it was overcast. I wanted a beautiful day to at least enjoy the beauty. Look at this. To enjoy the beauty of the world around us because, again, the world kind of sucks right now. And, uh, but we could always enjoy a little slice of heaven, right? That's what I say. Now, thankfully, a lot of the earlier models turned out to be way wrong. Thank God. There was one uh, when I gave uh, on the 24th of March, on the 20th of March, uh, there was one that said that within 10 days, we were gonna have 1,300 cases. That means before the end of March, there's gonna be 1,300 cases. Well, now it's the end of April and we only got 600. So thank God those, those estimates were way wrong. So right now, the, the whole state is still shut down. Uh, today, today, they opened up parks for the first time, but only, only for the purpose of uh, to use the park to uh, stay distant. You could walk, you could jog, uh, you can't use the tennis courts. You can't use anything that kind of puts you in close proximity with other people. The beaches, to my knowledge, are not open, but you can, like there's some people down there, I don't know if you can, if I'm gonna kiss this on camera, but some people down there, uh, you could go in the water. It's kind of weird. You can't hang out on the beach. You can't hang out on the beach, but you could go in the water. See if anybody's in the water over there, I'm not sure. So look over here. The Holona Bloho, a big tourist spot, it's closed. They still have this closed, can't go there. There's a little peak straight ahead over there, Sandy Beach. And you can see people are in the water, only a handful of people are on the beach. You're not supposed to be on the beach at all. So the only thing you could use the beach for is to walk in and out of the water. So that's, I'm sure, I don't see any people lounging on the beach, you know, like no beach towels kind of stuff not hanging out, you're just allowed to go in. There's a lot of cars here, it's the first big day. 
It's the first time this park has been open. So everyone's out, everyone's out, all the locals are out, but everyone's in the water. Everyone's in the water. So what does it feel like right now in Hawaii during this coronavirus outbreak where the state is shut down and uh, there is a quarantine? They do not want visitors coming. Do not come to Hawaii. I'm gonna have another video on why you should not be coming to Hawaii. Do not come to Hawaii. It's gonna be a mess. Uh, they practically, I mean, you get tagged at the airport. You're gonna have an ankle bracelet, an ankle thing stuck on you uh, to watch where your movements are. It's not good. They really don't want you to come here and there's, they have good reasons why. Look here, the beach. Normally this is packed. It's packed. So there's a handful of people. And again, you're supposed to just kind of be on the water. So right now we've got zero visitors and the beaches just have locals. And I can only imagine, you know, this is what it must have been like back in the old days uh, before the visitor industry. This is back in the 1950s. The visitor industry in Hawaii didn't really start until the jet age. So about night in statehood, 1959. Before then, it was pretty much plantation. So I kind of figured that's what it must be like. Although I never, you know, I'm not that old enough to know about that time. That's what I'm guessing it was. I want to thank those of you I know a lot of you want to come here for a vacation. I've gotten a lot of emails. A lot of people are saying, you know, I had plans, I, I can't go. And I want to thank you all for staying home right now. It's not easy to do, but it really is the best thing. This is not the time to come out to Hawaii. It's not. So just enjoy this. Enjoy these beautiful views. Enjoy this beautiful day with me. Enjoy yourself looking around at a gorgeous day. I handpicked this for you. Yeah, the restaurants are closed. The only thing you could do is a carryout. You could do a carryout, but there's no sit down on the restaurants. So there's really not a lot to do. You go in the water, you can walk. A lot of people are walking. I notice people jogging in the afternoons. Everyone's jogging, walking around. A lot of dog walking going on. Uh, at least uh, the good news about Hawaii is we can make use of this outdoor. We can walk out, we can get some beautiful sun and uh, you know, it's this crazy world, right? We we're told to stay inside, now we're told to go out. We're told to go out because the sun's good for it. So get out, don't stay in. Stay in, don't go out. It's kind of crazy. So in closing, the mayor of Honolulu has said that he's planning on keeping the, the isolation, uh, the, the home isolation active until the end of May, which is a really big shock. The state of Hawaii, uh, the initial date for the quarantine relaxation was set for the end of April, but there's a lot of talk that they're not gonna open it up until much after that. It's really hard to say what's gonna go on. If I were you, I would not make any plans at all until it is absolutely clear that Hawaii is open. I'm a little bit concerned about even after that time occurs, I mean, how many people are gonna wanna get on a plane where you're gonna be stuck with a bunch of other people on that plane for at least five hours. It's a five hour trip, give or take, four or five hour trip from California, even longer if you're coming from further, further away in the US mainland. I mean, do you wanna really wanna get holed up on a plane? I'm not sure about that. So wait until there is the all clear and then come on over. A lot of anxiety going around right now, a lot of anxiety because you know, Hawaii's economy depends on tourism. And tourism is, it's a $17 billion a year industry. Here, look at this, there's a lot of surfers in the water here. A lot of surfers in the water. That's so awesome, right? No one on the beach though. No one on the beach. Look at all those surfers out there, lots. A lot of people enjoying the water. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of economic anxiety right now. Hawaii's a $17 billion tourist industry, and now it's zero, zero. It's crazy. So there's a lot of anxiety, and no one really knows where this is gonna lie. So that's an update. Stay subscribed to the channel. I'm Peter Kay. Aloha.